Hello everyone, welcome to GED. Today I'm just going to be talking about Gotham Knights, a game I'm definitely going to be picking up here, definitely going to be playing. And uh, I'm going to be talking about my main squeeze, Robin. Uh, there is like a 99.9 .9 chance, uh, maybe an extra 9 in there somewhere, that I'm going to be playing Robin as my main character. I mean, basically, if you haven't seen any of the character videos, uh, Batgirl's kind of the tank. Uh, Red Hood's kind of like the gunner slugger, big old dude, and Nightwing's kind of like the acrobatic, uh, punch him, beat him up all around her type of fast moving combatant. But Robin tends to be a little bit more, I don't know, elemental focused, shadowy stealth focused. And we're just gonna look at a few of his skills here and tell you, I'm gonna tell you kind of the build I plan on going and why I just like Robin in general. Uh, so first off, and I'm going to remove the black border behind me here so you guys can kind of see. Uh, so the first skill we have here is Perfect Evade. Robin, and this is in the Slugger tree, the very first tree here on the left. Uh, Robin performs an evade that generates momentum and allows for perfect attack follow-up. So basically, it's just a dodge. <laughs> you, just, you just dodge. I mean, it's okay. It's not nothing too, too special. But the next one here. And I am just using a little video here, so we're just going to let it play a little bit so we go to the next one. Uh, increase Robin's critical damage by 20%. And this is called Critical Expertise. And again, it's over here on the left behind my head. Uh, critical Expertise, I mean, who doesn't love critical damage? 20% is actually really, really nice, right? Okay, moving on to the next one over here. Uh, so this one is Elemental Decoy. Whenever attacked, the Robin's decoy inflicts a large amount of elemental damage on an attacking enemy. Uh, it's okay. I mean, if you're going to be playing the decoy skill, yeah, I can see how this tree is good for decoys, but I'm probably not going to use decoy super much uh, compared to the other skills, which I'll tell you about in a minute here when we get through this entire set of skill trees. Okay, the one directly behind me is going to be back damage. Robin deals 20% more when attacking from behind. That's going to be okay if you're playing with a partner, playing with a friend who can distract enemies, or you just have really good evasion skills. But I don't really, I don't really see a use for back damage. I mean, it could be a thing. It could be from stealth, maybe. But yeah, not really my thing. Okay, and down below, we have uh, precise strikes, increased chance of hitting crits for it by 10%. This is actually really good. Uh, so I would go down the left side of this tree if I was going down Slugger Tree. Uh, mostly not, but we'll see how many skill points in total we get in the game. Uh, but yeah, increased crit chance is actually pretty good by 10% and possibly 20%. Looks like a two-point node there. All right, Robin's decoy explodes, exploding decoy, leaving residue that does damage. Um, I've seen this skill in action, and when the decoy explodes, it's like a, a tiny little puddle, a little, little tiny, crappy little puddle. I don't like this ability at all. I mean, it could be useful if you've got an enemy, like, laying down in a, in a puddle of something, but the enemy's not just going to sit there and soak in a puddle of goo. I, I just, not my style. And the capstone is going to be Elemental Focus. Robin's crit damage has a chance of landing a crit increase by 20% on targets with active elemental effect. Sorry, damage and crit chance uh, both increase by, with an elemental effect. This is actually really good. Uh, if you go down like the left side of this tree, uh, over here on my left here, this one and this one and this one, you can see my mouse. I think that would be a pretty good pickup, but these right side of the slugger tree, right side and center, are kind of lackluster. I'm, I'm just going to say that right now. Not really a fan of those. Let's move into the shadow tree over here. Light-footed. Robin produces no sound while running and moves faster while crouched. So this is okay. As a first point node, uh, moving faster... While crouching and no sound while running means you can get those sneak attacks easier, which is always good. And the reason I like the shadow tree um, and the tinkering tree is because they, they play well into like those immediate kills. And, and we're going to see more of that as we go down in here. Okay, 
So, stealth damage is on the left side. Robin's damage is increased while undetected. Melee and ranged attacks plus 10%. Takedowns and stealth strikes 20%. This is actually um, decent because a lot of Robin's attacks are coming out of the shadows, coming out of undetected status. So I'm not sure why it says takedowns and stealth strike 20% damage. Maybe at higher difficulties, takedowns can't actually kill enemies, and it just adds 20% extra damage on them. Uh, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. 10% extra damage or 20% extra damage just while not being noticed is, is actually a decent chunk. Okay, next one. Turnabout takedown. And this is like probably... this. Honestly, I think this one should be a capstone by itself. This is the creme de la creme of this tree, I think. Robin can perform takedowns and stealth strikes on large enemies. So those big shield dudes, the big beefy guys that you have to like basically shield break while you're fighting, you can sneak up or use an ability from stealth and dang near kill them or kill them outright, which is amazing. And that's one of the premier abilities I think I would be going for. Uh, and it's only there in the second row of that tree, which is kind of crazy to me. Third row here, we have Vantage Hanging Takedown. Uh, you can basically perform a zip line takedown uh, while you're perched above an enemy and just take them out without, without any detec detection. It's okay, it's good, but I think one of the knighthood skills kind of outplays this skill. So I don't know why this one would be a pickup for me personally. Uh, if you like the zip line takedowns, uh, it's pretty cool. Okay, next one on the left side here, we have... Um, second here. Doo -doo. Reduced visual stim. Robin is harder to spot and enemies take longer to notice him. Okay, it's another, like, don't notice me perk. I don't really understand why they would have a second harder to spot and notice when the first one basically does the same thing running silently and harder to notice maybe hmm maybe it helps with re-stealthing like running out of combat and then running back in but i just don't see this one being a solid pickup yet i'd have to see it in action all right vantage hanging takedown mine so when you use that center skill of the zipline takedown, you drop a mine that would lure technically another enemy or multiple enemies and then explode doing elemental damage. Uh, I can see this being a big thing. I can see it being very powerful if it does a good amount of damage. We'd have to see the scaling on it. And does it apply elemental effects? That's a thing. Like Robin's all about elemental effects, right? Does it, does it drop that, that fire damage or electricity damage or whatever you got? And then we're going to move on to the capstone here, which is Shadow Renewal. Successful takedowns restore 25% of Robin's health. So this is going to help with kind of, um, I guess, free roam out of uh, the world. Like if you're going from pack to pack of enemies or you're doing multiple takedowns in, in succession, you're healing back your life, you're getting that, that rejuvenation going, and you're, you're staying in the fight longer. I could see it being okay. I just don't really know how many points you would invest in this shadow tree to actually get down to just just a renewal skill and this doesn't work on bosses unless they have minions around so uh it's definitely not a boss ability so okay the last tree here is tinkering uh first one is elemental charge your effects build up 25 percent faster so if you're doing anything like with your bow staff with your slingshot with your skills uh your your dots your elemental dots are going to build up faster or whatever elemental effects that's actually really good and i'm thinking the tinkering tree is going to be my primary tree and i'll talk about that uh, when we get to the end of these okay so second one is sticky pellet in precise aim you can shoot a pellet that sticks and creates a mine that's <laughs> to me that seems a bit overpowered because you can sit back and almost be like a red hood uh, outside of combat, dropping mines on enemies or nearby enemies, just exploding for elemental damage. And then if you have a little bit of stealth action going on there, 
they're not even detecting you. You're just firing pellets, killing people, right? <laughs> it's like stealth sniper build. Okay, let's go to the left side. Robin can place three sticky pellets. So basically, you're pre-mining the battlefield before you even initiate enemies. And depending on how much the sticky pellets do, they're like going to be an amazing assistance for you. The right side is pellets inflict 33% more damage and last 10 seconds. So you literally, you just create a bunch of pellets in front of you, drop down or take down the first enemy, and then when the other ones come rushing at you, they all explode. Boom, boom, boom. You can take out an entire pack just with sticky pellets. Probably not going to be like that, but you get the drift. They can definitely be a help, especially on like bosses or something, some big target. Okay, Elemental Resistance, pretty flat ability, just 40% more resistance for Robin. So you can dish out Elemental Damage and resist it coming back. Decent. I mean, you know, a lot of bosses are probably going to do Elemental Damage to you. So I think this will greatly increase survivability. Uh, down here on the secondary capstone, Tinkering actually has two capstone spells. Uh, when Robin deals elemental damage, he gains a 5% chance of dealing additional elemental damage in an area and also reduces their elemental resistance by 50%. This is a huge ability. So since Robin's basically going to be dealing elemental damage on all of his weapons and all of his skills, this could like, make enemies so much easier to kill if they get that resistance debuff. Who cares about the the uh, explosion, it's all about that resistance debuff. All right, then we'll move over. Last skill in this tree here is going to be the, da, 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 wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Enhanced elemental effect. Elemental effect inflicted by Robin lasts twice as long. Uh, this one I don't think is going to be as important as the other one, but, uh, you know, twice as long on your dots for your elemental effects is going to be kind of cool. Depends on, again, how many points we have to play with in the end game. So, for my build, I would definitely go down every node in this tinkering tree. This is my personal build, okay? Tinkering tree is going to be my main squeeze. I'm going to go down all these nodes and hit this left one for the elemental debuff. So I'm going to be shooting mines. I'm going to be more resistant to damage. And then, uh, you know, twice as long elemental debuffs I can kind of li live without. And then all my other points are going to go into the first two nodes of these for increased stealth and takedown on big baddies. You definitely want this skill if you're playing Robin. Take down on the big baddies will save you so much time and so much damage. And that, that will make them actually a priority target for Robin for his takedown abilities. And we're going to see some cool stuff over in Knighthood in a second here. And then any other points I'm going to have left over after dumping Tinkering, dumping these two points in Shadow, I'm going to go down the left side of Slugger just to get those extra crit chance, extra crit damage, and um, possibly maybe a little bit of the the decoy but I don't count on that one <laughs> for me at least. All right, let's get into the knighthood stuff. Okay. Okay, so the first one is his basically teleport spell. Um it's his momentum ability. Uh, slideways, basically he enters a portal and can fly across the map. Uh, I've heard people in the beta saying that this ability is not really that great um, uh, compared to like Nightwing and Red Hood and possibly Batgirl because their abilities last so much longer. Like Batgirl and Nightwing can both glide super far and Red Hood can kind of jump instantaneously. Whereas Robin has to go into this little menu mode of flying high into the sky, bird's eye view, and then drop down somewhere. But I think it's pretty cool. Um, you can be on ground level and basically teleport across skyscrapers or across, you know, like 10 or 12 seconds of travel, which, uh, depending on how quickly you can back to back chain spam it, could be absolutely amazing once people start to get good with it. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. You always have the bat cycle or grappling hooks to kind of fall back on.
All right, the first uh, knighthood skill is Stealth Takedown. Performing a takedown increases Robin's damage, crit chance, defense, and elemental buildup for 15 seconds. Considering how Robin is mainly a takedown focused character, you would definitely want this knighthood point <laughs> because um, all those buffs for 15 seconds, that means you're going you're gonna, to you're gonna try to end fights before they even begin. You're going to drop down to a pack of enemies, perform maybe two takedowns, one on a big target, one on a little target, maybe have some mines pre-spread and just super elemental blast everybody around you, right? With all your, your elemental skill. So that's going to be a momentum increaser, I would say. All right, the next one is aerial attack smoke. Basically, aerial attacks are followed by a smoke to re-enter stealth. I'm assuming that means like you can do takedowns and then re-enter stealth and do another takedown, but we'll see exactly how the interplay goes in there. And then we have uh, microbots cooldown reduction. Robin's microbots cooldown is re reduced by 20%. That one's okay. Um, this, this is kind of like a don't need really, but, but would be helpful. So if you have enough points for this, maybe, but if you don't, you can pass on it. 20% cooldown on microbots. It's, yeah, neither here nor there. Oh, and by the way, if you didn't know what Robin's um, skill is, is one of his capstone momentum skills is the microbots, which basically he opens up canister and drops a bunch of bots on the floor and they go off and they start doing elemental damage to people, then they explode, which to me is just mind-blowingly good. <laughs> I love that skill. Uh, it's, it's free elemental damage on pretty much every target around you. And who doesn't love microbots? Uh, the one below that here is microbot target. Basically, instead of three microbots, you spawn five microbots. So more damage. This one would be a solid take. More damage is good. Cooldown, meh, it's okay. Definitely take the microbot target plus. All right, and let's see here. Moving over a little bit. Slideways takedown. Robin opens a small portal and pulls an enemy through it to form a takedown. Can't do it on bosses. This is why I don't see a need for the shadow tree uh, or the shadow zipline ability. For the zipline, you have to be above a target, up high, and then you have to uh, do a takedown on them. But for this one, you can literally just be ground level, in stealth, and portal night like nightcrawler portal someone to you and take them down without their enemy the other enemies even knowing it happened <laughs> and that is so amazingly awesome this one would be a 10 out of 10 take okay and then we have the last momentum ability which will be any moment combat expertise uh, pretty much every character has combat expertise as a skill. It basically increased your range and melee combos by one, and the last hit will knock down an enemy. All the characters get these, and uh, if you have points for it, yeah, I'd say so. Uh, the Knighthood Tree does have, you know, the, like these two uh, capstones here have three points each to get them, but they are so amazingly good. So. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to see how many points we we can finally achieve in the late game builds because uh, a lot of this stuff is gonna take up a lot of your points in the base trees and then your knighthood skills are gonna be kind of like flavor to thresh out the rest of your character. Um, but just you know, just reiterating, uh, microbots good, teleport kills are good, uh, more elemental increased damage chance is good. Uh, so. Robin's going to be dropping in, dropping in fast and furious, and I feel like he just has one of, one of the best early initiation momentum kits for large packs of enemies. Uh, however, on boss battles, I feel like he's going to struggle a bit because the only thing he's really got going for him in boss battles is going to be the elemental damage props. So we'll see how elemental uh, effects increase everything. And then I'm just going to skip ahead here to the um, momentum abilities, which are basically your skills you use. We've seen four, no, we've seen five skills that Robin has. So basically he has the first one here behind my head, 
which is he shoots a pellet, then he teleports and does a heavy attack on an enemy. That's pretty cool, pretty awesome. Uh, the next one is Bow Staff Spin right here behind me. Uh, bow Staff Spin is basically just twirling your stick and running around like a, like a Diablo 3 monk. This one has not impressed me. For one, half of it gets wasted just running towards the enemy, and the other half doesn't seem to do a lot of impact damage. So something about that has to be changed for it to seem good. Uh, the next one is... Uh, I forget what this one is. Let's go... Oh yeah, uh, your decoy. Your decoy plays into your first skill tree. I don't know why the first skill tree is, is all about decoys. Uh, it seems like a good idea at the time, but decoy, again, doesn't... It doesn't attract enough enemies. It tra attracts like maybe one, maybe two. And it just seems like kind of wasteful at times. Not a huge fan of decoy. Uh, one that's not here, that's not on this list, is the, the rain of pellets we've seen in some trailers. Where he basically takes his slingshot, aims in the air, and does like a, a rain of pellets down on an enemy. Uh, that one might be good as an AoE damager, depending on how uh, much elemental effect it applies. But uh, yeah. I think the best one here so far is the, the shoot the pellet and teleport and smack them because that does damage and it can also be used as a movement ability. And then down here in the corner behind me uh, is the microbots that basically he just leans down on the floor and drops the microbots down. So that's Robin in a nutshell. And that's kind of why I want to go Robin in the main game is just because he has that, uh, I don't know, that, that tempo of initiation that none of the other characters seem to have. Uh, again, Batgirl's kind of like super beefcake tanky, never dies. Uh, Nightwing has a lot of just, uh, he's like, it's hard to say, he's like the, the average Batman character. He's well-rounded, has just everything going for him. If you like just general combat, he's pretty good and very acrobatic. Uh, and then, Red Hood, he's got the guns, he's got the slugging abilities, the really hard-hitting punches, but Red Hood just didn't fit my flavor. When I saw those slingshot mines and the, the teleport takedowns and the ability to take down a large target is super key, super amazing. Uh, Robin was just, I knew I'd fall in love with Robin uh, in a bro kind of way. But anyways, let me know what you guys think about this game and what character you're going to be playing and why and we might do another review of some other skill trees for the other characters uh take it easy remember to game eat and discuss guys